Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial over Carbon Copy Cloner. It's a free app for the Mac, and you use it to back up all your data to an external hard drive, and I highly recommend it. Uh, if you go to Google and search Carbon Copy Cloner, the first result is the main website, which is this right here, and the download button is the, this one right here. If you uh, don't want to do that, I'll put the link in the sidebar for you. Okay, once you download it, go ahead and install it. When you bring it up, it'll bring you to this main screen right here. Now the source disk, your hard hard drive that's in your Mac right now is going to be your source disk. It's going to be the hard drive that you want to back up. So I got mine. I have Macintosh HD. That's the default name for all Mac hard drives. Um, yours might be different if you changed it, but most likely that's what it will be. And I got everything checked. And here is a setting you can put filters in, like if you don't want to back up certain file types. Um, I'm backing up everything. If you go over here to the target disk section this is where you're going to choose your external hard drive um, I named my external hard drive Mac backup so that's the only one that I can choose because it's the only uh, external hard drive I have hooked up right now now the cloning options you can select backup everything or incremental backup of selected, selected items now I think when the first time you do it uh, the only option is to back up everything once after the first time you back up everything you're going to want to select incremental backup of selected items this will only back up anything that's changed since the last backup and I have um, this selected delete items that don't exist on the source this will delete anything on your backup hard drive which is your external hard drive it will delete anything that doesn't exist on the hard drive since the last backup say say you backed up um, a song you know a couple weeks ago to your external hard drive and then you decide you didn't want that song and you deleted it and then you go to back up uh, your Mac again this will delete that song off the backup hard drive so you won't have it anymore I have it selected because I whatever I delete I know I don't want so but it, some people like to you know keep everything even though they deleted it so it's up to you if you want to do that and these I don't really check those because I don't really see the point in doing it that's up to you if you want to check that and I got mine I got my external hard drive uh, bootable because I would like to, if my hard drive dies, I want to be, you know, up and running and I don't want to wait and get a new hard drive and restore it and everything. So I have my backup hard drive bootable. Uh, I suggest you do that too because it's really convenient. All right, now that's about it. Um, it's real simple. Now uh, you can save the task. I don't save it because it automatically saves your settings. So once you got everything set up like this, you can go ahead and click clone and it'll back up everything and it might take a while depending on how big your hard drive how much data you have and what you're backing up um, shouldn't take longer than uh, 15 minutes average user so not even that long really so um, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and I hope you guys go ahead and check out this app highly recommended by me and if you have any questions just comment send me a message um, i'll get back to you all right thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later